if I'm cracking jokes on you, it means I like and respect you. And, uh, you know, again, maybe there is a little bad blood with, with Kyrie. A little? Or whatever, but he certainly has a right at a wedding to have a few drinks and laugh at LeBron's expense. If LeBron's skin is that thin, I feel bad for him. So, Pat Riley took shots at LeBron. Phil Jackson took shots at his, quote, posse. Uh, the NBA, by the way, never really minded stars taking games off until LeBron took games off. Kyrie and the Warriors are trolling him. Like, it's, the media won't put LeBron in the top three in the MVP voting. Oh, like it, well, he's won four MVPs. Yeah, he should win every year. <laughs> so my point is, I'm LeBron James, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, golfers, even at Tiger Woods' lowest point, you never hear a golfer take a shot at Tiger because what he did for golf. LeBron gets nothing but trolling. He should be coddled like Tiger Woods. Is that what you're suggesting? I'm saying that LeBron's carried this league for 10 years until the Warriors arrived. And it's all trolling. Don't you think he's tired of it? If he's got very thin skin. I'm okay with Steph Curry doing it, you know, with the rivalry and everything, but Kyrie Irving? That's his boy. And I know what you guys are saying, you know, they have the history recently. This is a bad look. Can you imagine ever one of Michael Jordan's teammates oh, saying, how hey, Michael man, Hannah laughing that? and egging on an opponent? Larry Bird. He's a human. Hey, hold up, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Any of their teammates ever troll him? And I know there wasn't social media back then, but this just to me, and I, Matt's going to disagree, it feels like a lack of respect for LeBron, especially from Kyrie. Yeah. Come on, dude, that's your boy. No, I don't agree with that at all. I just think it's a different time. I mean, you got to realize that back when you guys were speaking, early 80s, 90s, there were really rivalries and people weren't friends. These guys are all friends. We all see each other in the summertime. We all hang out. We all do each other's events. And it was just a situation. I mean, what did you guys want Curry to stop? Don't talk about LeBron, Mike. You know what I mean? It was <laughs> no, just they were having fun. They were at the Curry. wedding. You know, they were at, they were, I mean, well, people are mad because Kyrie was laughing. It was funny. You know you what I mean? You didn't think he was egging him on at all, I don't think Matt? so. No, I mean, Steph, and Steph is a funny, you know, light-humored person anyway, so it wasn't, I don't think there's any malice behind it. It was just fun at a wedding and people happened to catch it. You know, in locker rooms, anybody can get it. You know what I mean? There's no rules. There's no safety zone. Coaches, play, presidents, LeBron, Steph, KD, everybody gets it. So, well, I mean, it's just, just happened to be caught on camera. But on the heels of the I'm coming home trolling, but, demanding a trade. But I don't think you're thinking about that when Steph is doing the, you know, should I laugh right now? I mean, it's just a part <laughs> of the moment. You're at a wedding. You have some drinks. People are like, you see it's ties all done. It, it, it's, it's all it Making fun of LeBron James. Coward, coward. coward. <laughs> if... if if I caught some video somewhere, you making fun of me, fat jokes, whatever, the way I talk or whatever, I'm not going to be offended. My, my, my skin ain't that thin. I'm a grown-ass man. He hasn't, asked, he hasn't asked for a trade, though. Yeah, I didn't demand to be <laughs> traded off this show. He didn't want to be away it from It wouldn't you. matter, man. People, I, I can't stand people that can't laugh at themselves. No, I agree with if you. If you're going to laugh at everybody else, you got to be able to laugh at yourself. And if LeBron James can't look at this, and can't understand all the things you rattled off go along with being the king. A lot comes with it. Heavy is the... Cr you know, right. again, Matt... Yeah, how, do, how do players, Matt, in the NBA? I mean, as, as candid as you can be, what do they say about LeBron? Do they kind of think he gets pampered by the league? you got to respect it. I mean, with, with, with all he's done, like you said, he's carried the league and, and what he's done for the brand of, of basketball and, and little kids and growing the sport. He gets whatever he needs. Just like at some point, Steph's going to get whatever he needs in this, in this process. KD, when you're the best, you're the greatest. That kind of stuff happens. The you know, rivalry between LeBron and Steph mm. during the playoff, is, is there a rivalry? Is there s some... And there should be some tension. I mean, there. I got a small taste of it, you know, being there the last few months. But, I mean, just watching it as a fan, I mean, I just think it's just competitive banter back and forth. I, like I said, I don't think these guys have a genuine dislike for each other. It's just, hey... You know, you're in the way of us getting a ring, and vice versa. He's in the way of you getting a ring. So I just think, you know, when LeBron won, he did his little gimmicks. Steph's doing his little thing. I think it's just all, it just adds more hype to next year. Matt, I don't know if you saw it, but there was a book, The Rise of Steph Curry by Marcus Thompson, uh, the Bay Area. And he essentially said that Steph and LeBron were cool for a while. And then in the finals, when LeBron blocked his shot and talked trash to him, that changed everything. And Curry actually was on record in the book saying, man, I, I thought we were friends. I can't believe he came after me like that and talked trash to me, and Curry felt, like, insulted. I mean, Russell Westbrook has shown disdain for Curry. Uh, James Harden, these guys don't really respect him. He's a below-the-rim player. 
I don't know. I mean, you don't think there's anything at all to all this stuff that Curry's talked about? I mean, it's just all talk. I mean, everyone see, if everyone didn't really like each other when you see each other in L.A. during the summer, it would be something going down. This is just all back and forth talking for the media to analyze and pick apart and, and you know, have topics to talk about in July when there's not much going on. Matt Barnes knows right. real NBA tension. This ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't it. We'll leave it at that. Before we go, Matt, tell us about your athletes versus cancer celebrity football game. Yeah, we got a big game coming up this week at uh, John Burroughs High School in Burbank. We got Steph, KD, James Harden, Chris Brown, uh, Draymond, DeAndre, Chris Paul. Great cause. Uh, me and Snoop doing an annual football game, so come check us out uh, Sunday afternoon. That's a, that's a pretty good Jeez, roster. I'm there. Right there. <laughs>